day 5 and 6 of the $32,000 Dead Man Mode tournament. I honestly have nothing prepared for this episode. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll take it as it comes. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy today's episode. Come to your master. 70. Agility. We can now do Saradom and Godward's dungeon. Not that I'm doing it or anything, but it would be fun to go there on Dead Mammo tournament just to try it out. I have decided to go and do Wilder Slayer because the PvP items during the final hour is very very important to even have a chance of winning. Ooh, supply drop, 10 brews, very very nice. And just after that we get an emblem. And that's task completed. And that's task completed, 61. That's a nice little emblem right there. Ooh, supply drop. Looting bag currently at 130k. And that's task completed. As we get an emblem as well. I am going to show you guys something. What was in the deposit box at all time. We got full Darox. I am ready for the final hour. This is going to be fun. And since I'm doing full Darox in the final hour, I need to have as much strength bonus as I can, which is why I'm going for the fire cave. One more hit, that's all we need. Oh no. Oh my god. I'm out of restores, man. Take him out the game. There we go, 81 minutes. Yoink. My cape now. Oh, 90 range, I just missed that. 65, Slayer. And that's the Slayer task completed. 91 range. Today is Wednesday evening. I'm doing my defender grind now, and no one is actually here. Eh? Two or three kills for the bronze defender, very nice. Total level 1000, and we got a steel defender in like 30 minutes, so I'm pretty lucky here. <laughs> oh, yes, ah, the rune defender, very nice. And there we go, dragon defender has been obtained. This may be a stupid idea, but the God Wars dungeon. We have the God Swords, we have the Armadil Crossbow, the Armadil Armor, and the Staff of the Dead. All very good items for the final hour. If I could manage to pull an item for me or my teammates, that would be great. Oh nice, one key. Just one more now. Oh, that's my first death! Good fight, fools. I guess they have God Wars Dungeon Lockdown. Just missed the level, but we got 75 attack. So I kinda need to rebuild a lot after dying to fools, so I went to Ankus to begin with, get some starter runes, solder runes, then I came here to Cyclops, and they have a chance of dropping tier 5s. Yeah, I didn't get any tier 5s. But I made enough money to go to Barrows again, and this was my first drop back at Barrows. Yeah, a Barrack Brasser. Probably the worst Barrow's top, but I can't really complain. An item is an item. The next upgrade for my Darox during the final hour is 70 Prayer for the Piety Prayer, which increases my strength level by 23%. There we go, 70 Prayer. Oh shit, that's 95 Mage. We can now use Fire Surge, uh, which is the best regular spellbook magic spell. And that's 92 range. I really didn't want to do the King's Ransom quest because I'm honestly tired of questing. But here I am, I got my 70 prayer. I just have to do this quest now for piety for the final hour. And we're gonna start with Black Knight Fortress. And the timer starts now. That's the Black Knight Fortress completed, nine minutes time. And that's Murder Mystery completed. We got seven minutes and 25 seconds on the clock. And the next quest we're doing is the Holy Grail. Timer starts now. And that's the Holy Grail completed. 19 minutes. 
The next quest to complete is Jungle Potion. The timer starts now. Jungle Potion completed, 8 minutes 30 seconds. And that's Shallow Village completed, 27 minutes. Uh, the next quest to complete is One Small Favor. And the timer starts now. Oh, One Small Favor finally completed, 1 hour and 7 minutes. That's annoying. Now it's time for the final quest for Piety, King's Ransom. And let's start the timer. Let's start right now. Let's go. And that's King's Ransom completed. It took me 18 minutes. And now we can use... Well, what? Okay. I, I'm not completed just yet. And there we go. The minigame is completed. 76 defense. We can now use pi Piety. Pi Piety. Yeah, we can now use Piety. Let's go. Got myself a rune pouch for the final hour. Very useful. Just missed it, but 80 attack. 85 strength. And that's 93 range. I'm not sure if I will be able to get any higher because I'm not sure if I got the time to max until the final hour. So we're gonna stop at 95 or 96 range, then go back to melee and magic. Woo! And we're back at barrels. We get a dry, a dry chest. Like for real, mind runes. I don't need this shit. Bruh. <laughs> have you seen the new update? The Christmas update? Now the mammoths have a Santa hat. Ooh. Okay, I just missed the levels, but we got 92 hit points and 94 range. Let's go. And that's task completed. We managed to get ourselves two emblems from 110 ice giants. No PvP weapons still, which is sad. But the grind continues. Ooh. Let's kill this bad boy for one kill. Out of everything, I got that. Not worth it. <laughs> That's another task done. And uh, we got two emblems. So I went back to the Chaos Fanatic just to try my luck. And I managed to get myself a Malediction Shard 1. My current shield for the final hour is a Rune Kite shield. So a Malediction Shard is actually a big upgrade to the gear. And it's worth a lot if I decide to sell it as well. First Scorpio kill. Let's get it. Malediction Ward. A Rune Sword. Phoenix necklace. Back to barrels for another long dry streak and a bunch of bruh, 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 bruh. Bruh, I got another staff. Nice. After getting this arm staff, I did continue on doing barrels. I went like 20 dry and then PK showed up, so I decided to go to bed. It's another day and I'm back at the crazy archaeologist mainly for pvp items and the malediction shard uh, i did get the malediction shard in one of my previous videos but i decided to sell it back then because i didn't think i was going to use it but now i've changed my mind and i might actually go for it <laughs> yes we got it we got the shard just one piece left now so back to scorpia for the final piece of the Malediction Ward, and for those of you who don't really know what a Malediction Ward is, it's one of the best in slot shields, it's probably gonna be the best in slot actually, out of all magic shields. It has very high magic defense and attack bonuses, as well as very high melee defense bonuses. Done. That sounds like a YouTube commentary. This is a YouTube commentary. I got the drop. <laughs> nice. What'd you get? Uh, Malediction oh, Shard jump. 3. Oh, what the fuck? Don't spoil the video for me. I was actually very, very lucky with every single shard piece that I got. Malediction Shard 1, I got on 6 kill count. Malediction Shard 2, I got 2 of them in 35 kill count. And Malediction Shard 3 on 14 kill count. Very, very lucky. I'm about to do the riskiest thing ever. I got all the three pieces for the Malediction Ward now, and I have to go to the deepest and most scariest place on RuneScape. All the way on the deep wilderness. This is where I gotta go. Level 50 wilderness. Good luck me. I swear, if there's a teammate, come on. Teleport now. Let's go, let's go. Yes, someone has died here with a lot of loot. Oh my god. If I see a white dot, I'm... 
I'm dead. Oh yes, it's safe. It's actually safe. I'm safe. This is currently what my final gear is looking like. Mystics with the Aram Staff and the Malediction Ward. Then we have the Rain Switch to Rune Crossbow and Granite Shield. Then finally, the Darox for the KO. And since my team is very team based, some of the drops I've received may not end up with me. However, I may get a lot of other upgrades to my gear. Hopefully I can manage to get myself full Arams as well as a Carol Stop. And on Sunday, the final episode will be shown on my YouTube channel. And hopefully I can get some knockouts with the Darox. But if you want to watch the stream live, you can find it on the Old School RS page tomorrow, Saturday at around 8 p.m. 9 p.m. GMT. You were moved. So if you like this episode and dead mode content in general, make sure to give the video a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you very soon.